Hi guys, my name's Craig and you are watching Gadget King Reviews and today we're going to have a little bit of a different review because we're going to be comparing two of Beatron's 10 watt Bluetooth speakers. Now, straight out of the box, I can tell you I'm all for the E50 and this is not because I'm favouritism in any way, it's because the style of my room, I like the style of the speaker. The XR77 could fit your style of room even better but we pick things on how they look and first impressions but what I do like about these speakers is Beatron always seem to put a little bit of effort and they have a little bit of thought into the style and the styling of their speakers just this box for instance it has a little rope handle it's it's got a classic look to it and if somebody give me that as a present, which that at the moment has a recommended retail price of $39.99 on Amazon, but is on sale for $19.99. If somebody give me that as a present, I would be thinking they had spent £100 or more on that present. And depending on what type of person give me it, I'd probably have to Google it just to see how much it actually paid. The XR77, on the other hand, is currently unavailable on Amazon, but I did find one for sale on eBay by another retailer for a price of £50.95. Now, these speakers are both 10 watt speakers. They'll probably have a distance of around about 10 metres, but we'll tell you more about that as we compare them. And it's all about seeing how fast the hook up to the Bluetooth, what the sound quality is like, is there any back noise in the speaker, like is there any noise in the background, is there any fuzziness coming from the speaker when it's on full blast. And that's about it guys, so let's get down to giving the E50 its first test run and then we'll get on with the XR77. Otherwise, these reviews take a little bit too long and news guys get a little bit bored and seem to disappear. So let's get cracking. So the first speaker up for review is the E50. Now the E50, I can tell you the build quality feels strong. The wire mesh that covers the actual speaker itself isn't going to dent easily. The back as like a polystyrene type of texture but it is in no way polystyrene it is actually solid toughened polyethylene or plastic of some sort now it comes in the box with a little stand which I'm presuming you connect onto there like that and there you go that looks classy to me and that has Bluetooth it will connect to and I think the distance is around about 10 meters but I would I always take that with a pinch of salt because depending on how powerful the device is you're connected to also has an effect on that type of distance now the integrated hands-free calling system also allows you to answer phones while you're listening to the music if the phone rings then you can pick up the phone and the sound will come from the speaker which we'll test out when we do the actual speaker test so first of all we're going to test how quickly it finds the bluetooth and how quickly the phone of mine connects to this speaker so let's get cracking and let's see how this baby sounds so we'll first turn it on Move it there so you can see a little bit better. Now, try the Bluetooth. So there you go. I found it straight away. It's connected straight up. As I said, I can't play any fancy music because the copyright will infringe me so we'll have to play the intro to our YouTube channel 
but I think this is good enough anyway. Started the way off, didn't it? Well, I'm sure uh, that sounded perfect straight away, but we're obviously going to start off on a low sound. Let me phone volume's on full wax, so the phone is on full volume, so you can see now you're going to get a test of what this is like on full volume. And that's full volume with the beeping. Now the little beep that you heard there when I was turning the volume up obviously was the max volume and I'm sure you can agree with me that that sound was absolutely excellent for 1999. If anyone complained about that and tries to compare that with some sort of ball system they are out of their minds because Beatron have done an excellent job there to provide a stylish stereo speaker which is yeah I can tell you now just by looking at it, it's going to test it it's going to last the test of time and it 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 just looks stylish that will look stylish in any room that loves to look modern if you've got a modern feeling room this is perfect for that. If you want to take it for picnics, perfect for that. If you want to take it to the beach, anything like that, the park, this is all perfect for that sort of thing. Now, we'll see what it's like for the phone, if it answers at all. No, I don't want to be answering any friends, so I'll just phone my home number, see how that goes. Uh, that's calling. So the phone connects perfectly. That's not a problem. Oh, that's the Beatron E50, and I think that is well worth the money. Let's get on and test the XR77 and see how that one compares. <laughs>